Hey, Jacques. Yes. Do you ever feel like art saved your life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. End of episode. <laughs> Hi, I'm Phoebe. Hi, I'm Jacques. And welcome to Do You Ever Feel Like? Where we ask the questions that everyone's thinking and no one's answering. No one. It's just us. (laughs) (laughs) How are you? Hi. I'm having a day. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm having like a real identity day. It's mm. like, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like um, identity, like who are you? Or like, like who am I? Or like, this is me? Both. Ooh. Uh-huh. I listened to um, We Can Do Hard Things today. Yeah. With Glennon and Abby and Sister Amanda. And I was listening to Tig Nataro and Tig's wife, Stephanie. Obsessed. Already obsessed. And, like, I, you know, it's never the thing. It's never the conversation. It's never the concept, right? It's mm-hmm. never the – it's always the time. It's like I had to hear these things at this time. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. At this moment, yeah. in this way, for me to be like, oh, duh. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah, having, yeah, yeah. I'm having one of those days. And I, yeah. Well, I and also- som- sometimes too, for, for me, it's like, oh, I have to hear things at, maybe every day. 40 mm-hmm. million times before mm-hmm. I even kind of start to understand them, right? Right. It's like, yeah, right. this time, this day, because only now can I ingest this information. Right. Yeah. Like, it's no more time. There's no more time to fuck around and be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. these are the time. To- this is the time to be. Yeah. Yeah. This makes me think of like, I think it's like one of the first paragraphs in Viola Davis's book where – because I'm reading a book and now it's become my entire personality and the only thing I can talk about. I, I, um, I mean, obviously. <laughs> I am like, this does, is all media. <laughs> does this not happen? Like, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. What? Like, um, But I, I love this question that she has when she says she's talking to Will Smith and Will Smith says to her, um, who are you? And mm-hmm. and she's like, oh, I will always be like the seven year old girl running away from the bullies shouting the n word at me. Like I will always mm-hmm. be that little girl. Um, mm-hmm. And then I don't think she also says like I don't know, I'll always be like that like fighter, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and that that's what that like like these like deep dynamics like this like remembering thing because it's it's both like I find that concept both like liberatory. Like, yes, that's who I am. And also, is this my fate? Like, is this Mm -hmm. dynamic that I am in? Like, uh, yeah, like, like, is it a Greek myth? Can I ever be anything but this? I think we literally opened the podcast the exact same way (laughs) last week. Like, but, but I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I've just been thinking about that. Like for me, I will always be the like waiting for her parents, fifteen year old girl. Oh yeah, like like just waiting, mm-hmm. waiting for somebody to come and like get me. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if I want to be that. Yeah. Mm. Like when yeah. this is something I yell at my therapist all the time about, but I'm like. We've already had this conversation. I already re- listened to the podcast. I read the book. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Keep going. Yeah. Like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. How, okay. Yeah. So Viola's book, though, like, we have to talk about it. It's so good. It's so fucking good. 
It's it's so good. She's I'm listening to it. Her voice is like I know she's an actress, like <laughs> duh. But like it's so good. Like her like I think it I think it's so different. Like somebody's words coming out of their mouth mm-hmm. in that way mm-hmm. is really quite intense. And I just like the things that she's writing about, I I so admire people that are able to like Oh, I don't I do I admire Yeah, I know I do because it's a skill I don't have. I find it very difficult to write about your trauma in like a not just way that you're you know, you're describing for somebody, mm-hmm. but that you're also able to like point to in an intelligent, emotionally intelligent way and be like, this informed this about me and this is how I changed it. Right. I don't know. I think like it's really for – if you're an artist and you're like in this whole thing, which this is like perfect for today's question, but if you're an artist and you're in this whole thing of like, do I tell my story? Do I not tell my story? Yeah. Like how honest am I? Which is the like – the hard shit, right? Like, mm-hmm. read this book. Cause, like, I. Oh, a hundred percent. Like, a hundred percent. The amount of honesty in it, like, the amount of love in it, like, is so good. And it's, like, obviously, like, of course, like, you mm-hmm. can't watch Viola Davis in a scene and not be like, oh, this is like an incredibly, you know what I mean? Like, yeah incredible human with yeah. with so much right like yeah. of course yeah but like I, I i don't know i was i yeah it was transformative for me to read that book in this time in my life and be like oh right like this is the thing yeah actually yeah the way that she talks about her mother she mm-hmm. says she calls her mother the love of her life i was like oh wow i know I cry. I go on my little – so my dog doesn't like to walk. We just stand and sniff things. (laughs) And so I look like the most pathetic – like I think maybe everyone in my neighborhood thinks I'm just like perpetually being broken up with or something like that because I just (laughs) stand there in the heat sweating with my dog who's like on like a long leash like on somebody else's property like in their backyard (laughs) – Cause that's just like what she likes to do, just and I'm sniffing sobbing. About- yeah, she's just sniffing for like literally ten minutes at a time, and I'm standing there sobbing with my sunglasses on. Yeah, listening to Viola. Listening yeah? to Viola Davis. Yeah, wishing I had a pack of cigarettes with me, but mm. that's anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that mm. I just I look insane, but it's so fucking good. Yeah, it's like- so good. Art changing life, man. Like, I, I, I don't want to like get into the specifics because people really need to read this book. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I there's a section in it about like the amount of honest that she had to be with herself to be an artist, and like <sighs> what she was willing to do. Yeah, and I just was like, I can't handle this. I need to, I need to like get away from this book. Like, Brene Brown has this thing where Brene says like. If a book is really impacted, like impacted her, that yeah. like that's like she wants to get away from it, like she wants yeah. to throw it across the room. That's how mm-hmm. she knows. And the, during that section, I'm like, nah, no, like I want to get away from this book, but it's so good. It's so, so good. good. I know it's, it's really so necessary. It's really intense to just like, I'm I'm like uh, addicted to it and scared of it at the mm-hmm. same time, kind of thing. And this is what this. That's why I I like audiobooks for that reason, too, because you can kind of like, I don't know, it's like a nice way to get through the hard stuff. Yeah. Sometimes because I think if I were to read it, I'd just be like, (laughs) 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's so good. It's so good. Anyways, read this book. It's so good. And like listening to Viola's voice is amazing. And like, it, I mean, obviously, like, Viola's background is in theater, right? So I'm, yeah. like, reading this book. I'm listening to her talk, and I'm, like, this is a one-woman show. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. put 
Like, give Viola Davis a Netflix special. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, could you imagine? Do it. Like, mm. so good. I can see so. that. Or an give HBO. Give her a stool. Just give yes. her a stool and a stage. Give, give her a stool and a stage. Like, what are we doing? So good. That'd be, that would be an exorcism. Actually, don't give Viola anything. Don't give her anything. You know what I mean? Mm, like, mm, mm-hmm, let's mm-hmm. not give Viola a stool, right? Mm-hmm. Like, let, like, like, Viola's got it. Viola's gonna get a stage and a stool. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> point is, Viola, we want it. So I think it would be so good. Yeah, no, when yeah. you had said that the other day, and like I said, listening to it too, it's like like her impressions of her mother and her family yeah. are just so good at painting like these like characters. But this is what I was saying too, like characters, but they are real, actual mm-hmm. 3D people. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I think that's so brave about this, this piece of art and all like the art that I really – uh, like admire and love mm. um, or like you know Jeanette McCurdy's new book that just came out uh, I'm glad my mom died I think that's what it's called like yeah. it's the ability to be able to because I'm gonna just I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't feel like she is the only person to ever have that feeling right like this is what oh, art no. does and but the bravery to be able to share these things and say these things in a way that, um, you know, feels safe enough and or mm-hmm. maybe like layers in a certain amount of mystery, you know, whatever, whatever, however, we like we create a thing, I right. just think is like so inspiring, so inspiring. Yeah. And I've been thinking a lot about it as I sift through all of the essays that I thought would stay in my Google Docs forever. <laughs> I know. And, now and like, I'm out to get you all. <laughs> I think if we talk about – we didn't – I think if we talk about like like life-changing art, right? Like I think there's this whole conversation which we're going to get into of like people and their opinions and like what is good and what is bad and like whatever, mm-hmm. right? But like I know that something – has really impacted me when it pisses me off. Yes. And I know that something has like really impacted me exactly like when I go to the Google Docs, Mm -hmm. when I do something. Yeah. Like when I – when it is – when there is action afterwards, I'm like that thing has like – it was good for Jacqueline. You know, like, yeah. I come from a family of artists and – which is like both – lovely (laughs) and an insane experience (laughs) i yeah i'm sure all at once Mm -hmm. um and i think people think like i point to it like i have um an uncle who is and like this is all googleable um i don't like i don't know i think i I, people like i reveal this about myself and they're like (gasps) like oh (laughs) <laughs> this is why, like, I don't know, like, it's, like, some sort of, like, nepotism thing or something like that, but it's, like, mm. anyway, whatever. Um, but I have an uncle that is a, a cartoon artist, and I have, like, uh, well, I've, I've like, I, I, literally everyone in my family is some sort of artist. Mm-hmm. Um, but one of my uncles, he's a cartooner. He writes a, he wrote a comic. Uh, he still writes it called uh, Reed Fleming, World's Toughest Milkman. Mm. And uh, in... It must have been like in the 70s. He had these stickers, 70s, 80s. He had these stickers that he stuck around uh, his like art college that said not art, um, just as like a funny little thing to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that they really like he would like put up posters. He would like stick them on like people's cars and stuff like that. Um, Anyway, I saw a gallery uh, named not art the other day Mm. and I was like huh like oh that's funny and then it spiked this like visceral reaction Uh. in me of like (laughs) I fucking hate that and I just think and like whether or not either of those things is good or bad like I actually don't give a shit like whatever but I like that's the interesting thing about it is like the reaction or the like the interest Mm -hmm. and I don't think it's not I don't say reaction in a way to be like you know thought provoking whatever Mm -mm. Or like, I'm pissing you off. Like, that's the point kind of thing. I don't think 
that's a very intelligent no design no 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 but no yeah. there is this line of like context and interest and yes i am saying this something that m- you might not love mhm how interesting yes yes how interesting so yes. anyway that's interesting yeah cuz when i yeah when i say it pisses me off i mean just like triggers me right like yeah totally and like, like in have some the way. the the responsibility to like 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 do something about that for yourself mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just like yell cuz people right. love to yell on the internet baby i mean i think oh well yeah <laughs> yes i think like exactly the responsibility component is like huge it's like mm-hmm. oh wow in whatever way this has really impacted me. And so and now I'm going to do something. Mm-hmm. Like that I, I that is like what the transformation is when we talk about art saving lives. You know? Yes. Yes. Anyways, so I'm I feel like I'm in th- this like I'm actually living in this way of like right now in this moment of like I listen to something, mm. you know, like with this conversation of artists together and it has transformed me today. Like I'm in this process. Which is like, okay, so here's the, the – let's just like stop. Let's just stop skirting around the thing. Like yeah. when I say, do you ever feel like art saved your life? I think a lot of the time when I say that people will – think of expression, like the creation of a thing, Mm. which is lovely and great. And yeah, yes. But the thing that I find to me creating is like, it's, it's like, I would almost put it in the same camp as like meditating or like walking. Mm. Like it's a thing I do to maintain my sanity in some way. But like the shifts, like the biggest emotional shifts I have ever felt in my life have been in a gallery, in a theater, listening to a podcast, ingesting a book, like all of these Mm -hmm. things. And like in our darkest moments, yeah, you know, God bless the plumbers and lawyers. We need you. Yes. Yes. I just, actually, I think plumbers may be a bad example. (laughs) I think maybe both (laughs) of those are horrible examples, but like you know, so many jobs are like how to complete a task and mm-hmm. artists ask why. And mm-hmm. I think like that is the most incredible thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's the it most is. incredible thing that you could, you could create. And yeah, like, and then, and then it spark j- just a response mm-hmm. in, in somebody else. And like when I'm when I'm making something, I don't need somebody's response to be good or bad. Mm-mm. I don't really think that's any of my business, um, what their mm. feelings are. But it's like the act of like this. And like that's how I feel as like a receiver. Like let this experience wash over me. I don't even know if I could have an opinion on most of the things that I enjoy about yeah. it a lot of the time because it's just the experience of being alive mm-hmm. that I find. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Whew. I just said 40 things. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I recently watched Rothaniel. I have been waiting for you <laughs> to, talk about, to talk about this. <laughs> I want to make sure. I, th- I think it's Rothaniel potentially. I think it's – I haven't seen it yet. I tried sorry, to. Sorry, Gerard Carmichael. Or sorry, Rothaniel. Rothaniel, Rothaniel. I think it's Rothaniel. Um, again, <laughs> pissed off. Pissed oh, off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like mad as can be. And I'm like in bed. This is also what happened when I watched Brene Brown's series on like naming emotions on HBO Max, which I can't remember. The Atlas of the Heart. That's a series? Um, <gasps> what? Brene made Atlas of the Heart into like a like lecture, like filmed lecture series, speaker oh. series on HBO Max, breaking down all of these emotions, talking to people about like it's it's fascinating. Oh, interesting. 
But anyways, like I'm pissed off because it's so good and it's like, I don't know, when I feel – when I watch something and I'm like not jealous. That's <laughs> not yeah. the term. No. But yeah. like because it's like I can't be jealous of something that's not mine. Like like like, like that's not mine. No, and you I know? think – yeah, and I think even if you were to interrogate – I think when people call certain things jealousy, it's like, like, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. And like, honestly, like everyone go watch Brene Brown's Atlas of the Heart because I think one of the things, one of the sections is like, is it jealousy or is it the other thing that I can't think of the name of? And like, we use these words in the wrong way. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. I it, Like – I don't know, the potential of what, like, art can do is just uh, – that is how, all I felt when I watched it. I was just like, mm. this is wild. Mm -hmm. Like, not only is there so much healing happening in real time watching mm. this, like, mm -hmm. there is – for this individual, but there is healing in the room. Mm. There's, like – there's just, like, it was – it's so good. It's so, 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 so good. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think like, I mean, artists are so brave. So brave. Mm -hmm. I, it makes me think of, um, uh, going to art school, which is like, gosh, golly gosh. <laughs> There's a reason why people write books and movies. And TV, mm -hmm. all on this experience. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite interesting. It's it's whatever. Okay. Anyway, it yes. makes me think of like just fucking like critiques. Like I would probably have a critique. There would be weeks in school where I would have, you know, for two weeks straight critiques, you know, multiple a day, like five yeah. to eight critiques a week. Yeah. So forget about all of the like – like you just make so much in art oh, school. Like you yes. make so much. And I remember having that thought going through it as well, being like, I will never create at this scale ever again. Mm -hmm. Mostly because it's literally insane. Like it's yes. just – you know, I – It's I unhealthy. Like, Uh-huh. I yeah. had – I had like a hangover, what I felt like from my thesis year – because I just – I was like, I don't want to make anything. And I don't yeah. think I actually did for like almost a year because I was just like out of mm -hmm. brain space and capacity and stuff. But like the amount of stuff that you make and then you show up to a critique, which I have experienced – I had a nine-hour critique once. I had a nine-hour critique once. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a whole – it was – it was horrible, obviously, because no one's in their fi finest form after, I would say, like, two hours. Most of them I'm were, sorry, like, three. But mm -hmm. this is a separate podcast episode. <laughs> like – Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me try to stay on topic here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it was quite – it was a thing. Anyway wow. – um, but like, I just think of my classmates who would show up from, you know, like with like the most like glittery canvas full mm. of like their deepest, darkest traumas on like Tuesday at 8 a.m. And mm. then like someone for the same assignment was like, painted a horse. And they're like, oh, just like us. Yes. And, and like, yes. both are beautiful, and, you yes. know, and like both are needed. And no, mm -hmm. one isn't more valid than the other, but like just the bravery to show up with like, like the most horrific thing I've literally ever heard and like a horse. And like, we're just going to like, yeah, yeah, have a discussion about it. Like, and that is like the bravery of artists I'm talking about. I'm like, this is the craziest thing. Like, y'all are nuts. <laughs> Honestly. And then I'm going to talk about it, and then I'm going to get graded on it. Ugh. That's it, This really is a whole other thing. But I just yeah. think it's like, like, how gorgeous. How gorgeous. And, like, I think of, like, walking into 
uh, you know, all of like, like the halls being busy in art school and just Mm. like everyone's just trying to share a little piece of themselves. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's what I mean when it's like art saved my life. It's like, how could, and I think it saves everyone's. Oh. I mean, I think like the last, like early pandemic, like sitting inside, just munching up things to entertain me. Yeah. To travel to anywhere but where I was. Like, Mm -hmm. I went to art school and I went to theater school, which is like, you want to talk about. (laughs) I know, abuse. You want to talk about abuse, but you also want to talk about like trauma Mm -hmm. and like, uh, yeah. Um, Anyways, separate pod. I about guess so. That because yeah. wow. But yeah, I mean, I come from I would say a family of artists too mm-hmm. in a way. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and 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 you know, my sister was a dancer her whole life. My mm-hmm. brother's like a, you know, but dabbled in a lot of different things, culinary mm-hmm. arts photography, visual arts, blah, blah, blah. Like yeah. very creative family. Yeah. My mom is like this eccentric creative soul. He's <laughs> like an yeah. interior designer. And like I think I I realized that like what that gift was, like I didn't understand it yeah. until like after all of my schooling, I think. Like I like or all like going to high school, going to mm-hmm. college, like I didn't understand – and I mean, even to this day, I'm confronted with this on a daily basis of, like, not understanding that the world doesn't work the way that I mm-hmm. – like, the way – like, in the way that I work or the ways yeah. of the things I've been exposed to. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, like I, I, I'm constantly in battle with, like, what are you ta- – like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. I don't – I don't understand what you're saying. Like, the world is actually this way. And actually, like, everyone is big feeling. Everyone ha- is wearing their emotions on their sleeves. Everyone's trying to process. Everyone's trying to, like, be creative in some way, shape, or form. Like, yeah. when you come from that, when you surround yourself with that, when you go to school, when you whatever, and then you're literally, like, put out into this world. And I'm, like, accosted by it literally on the daily of, like, what do you – like, what? Like, wait, you don't – what yeah. You, what? Like I don't uh-huh. understand. Like I I do not I will I like don't understand. I don't understand. Hello. <laughs> okay, hi all. We are going to chat about, you know, what we're changed what we are changing our mind about or what we have changed our mind about this week. What have you changed your mind about this week? I've changed my mind about having kids. Oh, God. I changed my mind about that every every other minute. Every other minute. And this week, I'm like, no. Never mind. I, yeah. I wish I didn't have an interest. Like, when people talk about, like, I've never wanted kids, don't want them. I'm like, g- g- share. <laughs> Give me Can that. I some of that, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it looks really hard and I mm-mm. – like as the person who – like as a woman who will like carry a child and then you have to like like look after it, no. I I feel like I personally have like a, a, a – li- le- I'm not even in the front row. I'm on the stage of, of what it would be like because yeah. I've I, yeah. like I, I've nannied – for mm-hmm. 15 years right yeah. like so I have a very clear idea of what yeah. it takes and I've been co-parenting and and doing it with, yeah. with other people you know yeah. and I flip-flop all the time mm-hmm. um long time it was no then for a long time it was yes and now it's like every other day <laughs> that's like, how I feel every other yes, day no yes no I mostly feel like an impending like I'll have to make that decision. Mm, yeah. Yeah. 
kind that's of that's what I think it is for sure. Oh, I want to change my mind about that. But like I think people do. Nobody wants to say it. Another mm. episode mm. for another time. <laughs> <gasps> another time i just had a lot of thoughts <laughs> um what are you changing your mind about or what have you changed your mind change about? my mind about traveling mm. i used to really think it was a thing not for me and i used to think it was a stupid thing to spend money on there's just like i don't really agree with i Okay, this is going to maybe be a bit of a hot topic-y thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like the way millennials travel and, like, you know, younger people as Mm. well Mm. is, like, modern-day colonialism. And it's, like, so weird to me, like, this, like, collect – like, when I hear people say, like, I want to go to every country. I want to collect. I want to go to every place. I'm like, Mm. why? Not that I don't find every place to be interesting or worthy or something like that, but I just I, – my mind goes to, like, like the environmental impact of those things and, like, mm-hmm. the sustainable nature of people visiting other places and, like, do we deserve yes. or get to go to all places? Like, I think right. maybe you should butt the fuck out of a lot of places and it's not mm-hmm. your business, you know? So yeah. um, I have that in me, but – I recently took like my kind of first big trip and I was like, oh, I really like this and Mm -hmm. I can do this. Like I think there's a funny thing in traveling where you're like, I don't – I'm in a place and I don't speak this language and I got to figure out how to get from point A to B. Mm. I mean I was listening to my mom talk about her traveling. She was talking about – she was traveling in Europe in the 80s, staying in hostels. She was meeting her boyfriend at the time in Berlin, I think. And I was just like, how do you do that? Like, I have a cell mm-hmm. phone and it's like, oh, I got to go sure. find Wi-Fi. And you're like, yeah, crossing your fingers that you get to a place at the yeah, right no. time. What? No, 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 no. no. Um, but yeah, I think just generally I've changed my mind about like, I am capable of this thing mm-hmm. and I can enjoy in a way that doesn't destroy yeah. the earth. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just my mind floods to like missionaries and shit. Oh, so oh wow, yeah. This have, is what I you... this is what Sorry. I think of. No. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I have never gone there, but you are so right. And I mean not right, you know, not right as in correct. Mm-hmm. Right as in like I that just I think a thing to, to think consider. Yes. 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 Um I and that's so funny. Like, wow, I'm really interrogating my own shit right now because I've only ever thought about that when it comes to, mm-hmm. you know, not Europe. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like essentially. Yeah. Um, interesting. Um have you heard about this whole thing with the national parks no. in the US? No. And how like I was listening to, I feel like it's The Skim a couple episodes ago, did um, a uh, a story on the flooding, really, and like literal flooding of like people in national parks in the US. Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like making these beautiful places. It's like really having mm-hmm. a huge effect yeah. environmentally, economically, et cetera, on the these beautiful places in mm-hmm. the US and how um you know these people that run these things, I can't even begin to uh, act like I know who runs a national park, right? But yeah. they're saying like stay away. Yeah. Essentially. Like don't come here because yeah. there's been such an influx from the pandemic and now people want to like go outside or they feel like it's one of the only safe things that they can do when they travel is go see the parks, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And like mm. it's been really bad. Like parking with air pollution, mm-hmm. with trash, with like hiking, mm-hmm. and there's like a million people on the trails, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera. And they're like, no, no. Like, you don't have to see this right now. Like, wait mm-hmm. and plan whatever. Like, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I was that, – that just, like, sparked into my brain when you were, like, do you have a right to see everything right now yeah. or in your lifetime or, like, whatever? Like, is it – you know, like, 
is it worth the trees not being able to be the trees if like yeah. because you want to say you like hugged a redwood like yeah. I don't know you know yeah 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 for sure yeah 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 I just, just like yeah. I just don't think I just don't think like outside of like North American culture like you know Eurocentric cultures like people are having the same thoughts mm-hmm mm. yeah so yeah <laughs> anyway um so that's what I've changed my mind about cool small topics you and I casual always all right well all right see you in a second invitation to change your mind about something (laughs) no i don't understand either and i i in the same category of not understanding i don't understand like opinions on this is it yes yes you know like like I, uh, um. ah! <laughs> I don't understand like I don't understand not think like not thinking in these ways like that's the first yeah. thing like I don't yes. understand yes 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 like yes, yes not thinking in these ways I don't understand like when I meet someone who's like I'm not creative I'm literally like that makes what me are you peel my skin what are you off. saying like I yeah. don't I don't <laughs> because I because I don't no, get it. I know. No, and I – what a horrible – I kind of have this joke sometimes when I'm, like, teaching where I'll be like, you know, raise your hand if a primary school teacher told you you right. were making an art assignment wrong, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like there's all these little ways that we love to plant um, – little and giant ways mm-hmm. that we love to plant, like, art. Because it's, like, a spiritual vocation, it's not mm. um, w- worthy. Right. right. It's like a thing yeah. that happens on the side. So if you choose to be an artist in whatever kind of capacity um, yeah. as a as a career or as a vocation, you know, whatever, um, like there's this like assumption. I think maybe it's like, I don't know. It's Yeah. It's like not worthy. It's like not good. Um, mm. But like how how many times have we been told um, – I, I like I, uh, uh, again. I just get all caught up in my feels about it. But like, how many times have we been told, like, "Oh, you're doing a th- creative thing wrong"? Wrong. Well, yeah. what the fuck is like? What does the that assignment mean? then? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. just it makes yeah. me or like some people. I I mean, again, I had a a teacher in art school, somebody who gets paid a lot of money to say the say to this classroom of people. Some people have it and some people don't, and you're born with it. And I was like, well, then fuck me. Why am I here? You know, wow. like I, I got so upset in this class. Yeah. But it's just like I, this belief that you are not a creative person, I, yeah. I or, simply don't understand. Yes, exactly. And I don't believe in. I don't believe in it either. Or like this idea of like I, – I, like I, – like, I know yelling where it's the I yelling today. portion of <laughs> this is where I am I'm trying so hard not to yell but I like I'm like what do you mean like you're having a big emotion and you're not going to art like oh, what yeah. are you talking about yeah, like I don't, don't know like what that grab means. a pen like, exactly like I'm like you go for a run what <laughs> like I'm like I I I, I literally like I don't I I it just it, it seems so obvious to me yeah. and like this is my own shit and like my own judgmental stuff and blah 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 and like I'm sure mm-hmm. there's like great benefits to running but I also like <laughs> like well, I, whatever are they are like <laughs> I don't know but I just can't imagine like I just this is such a tool and it's is what I'm saying and it's a tool yeah. that everyone has access to and everybody can use in a per- it's like the productive first way for tool themselves we've ever had like as exactly. a as human Mm-hmm. Beings, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. fucking Lasko caves, man. Like, come on, like look at us. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like, and like, so it's like this idea. At like, that is just wild to me when people are like, "Oh, I'm not creative," or like, "Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I can't do that stuff, or I can't paint because blah blah blah, or like whatever." I'm like, this is not even the way that I grew up. The way that I've been surrounded my whole life. It's like this isn't even an option. 
to not do these things, but mm-hmm. also it's like everybody has access to this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think of my um, it's making me think of my grandparents who were both very. Um, it's so funny because it's again you like you know you only know what you know, especially when you're a little kid, right? Yeah. Um, and you know, like they were always just my grandparents, but you know, being a grown adult woman, looking back on my childhood, um, they were so like bohemian, just mm-hmm. like hanging out. In the co- And it didn't feel that way. Cause you know, my grandma had like, you know, Pyrex bowls and, uh, you know, love to make a, a nice Christmas ham or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, my, my grandpa was a teacher at like the local college and teacher oh, are you because me? he, uh, like, because he had seven kids, like he faked his way into his job. Um, Mm -hmm. but was like, like they were both, they were both artists. Like he, I'm trying to remember my, he would play the harmonica. My grandma would play the spoons. Mm -hmm. Uh, like my grandma took up Chinese brush painting because like a, a, uh, like Chinese brush painter moved in down the road when she was like, like, you know, it like later in her life kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember telling my grandpa, I was like, wasn't going to go to, I want to take a year off between high school and university. And he said, you know, I don't care what you do, but go get an education. It's like the most important thing. Cause it's like, you know, he was a teacher. It was like really important Mm -hmm. to him. Right. And, um, right before he died, I had finished my thesis and I was like, he was, in his hospital. He was like in his deathbed. And mm-hmm. I I showed him, I was like, look, grandpa, like I, I installed my thesis today. Um, like, oh, I'm going to cry. Um, <laughs> but he, I was like showing him pictures on my phone and he looked up at me and was like, oh, I'm so happy for you. Like, congratulations. He said, I told you it'll be the best thing you'll ever do with your life. And like that, like, just committing to creativity in that mm-hmm. way is like the biggest gift. And like, you know, he didn't care what I did yeah. with my life as long as it was a something. And like, that's what he, that's what like they gave to me and my whole family. And I feel so yeah. grateful that, that I have yeah. that. I'm looking at my grandma's drumsticks right now too. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's, yeah, t- yeah. Mhm. Just yes. Just yes. I like my mom was just like you will like you yeah. will be exposed to the arts. You will see like the brilliance of this. Like you will go to galleries, you will go to ballets, you will see like you will like it was so important to her mm-hmm. that we see the benefit of these things and I went to school first for social work cuz mm-hmm. I was like Right, like you can't mm-hmm. be an artist. Oh, or yeah. If you want to be an artist, you can be an artist. That's cute, but you need something mm-hmm. else. So I chose social work. <laughs> Famously comfortable, <laughs> famously comfortable <laughs> lifestyle. Right, like no burnout there. Yeah, it gives you lots like, of space and time to be a human being. <laughs> it says so much about me and my own shit yeah. that I was like, I'm gonna be an artist or I'm gonna go take care of people. Like the, these are my options, you know. Um, anyways, so, and, and I like was, I, I mean, I'm so glad that I got kind of a liberal education before I went to school, like for theater, because I think that was also part of it too, right? Is like, I was like, what am I going to make art about? Like, yeah, I grew up very comfortably like as like, and this is before when I like, this was like the idea that I. I already had all my shit figured out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At 18, I'm like, yeah. I've been in therapy. Like, I got it all worked out. Everything's, yeah. you know, blah, 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 blah. I don't need to go make art about that, whatever, right? Uh-huh. So anyways, like all of the stuff that I'm now <laughs> totally unraveling and being like, actually, no, all of these things. Um, anyways, uh, and I went, anyways, <laughs> so I went to social, did social work and it was great in a lot of ways because I learned about the world first. Like I like, mm-hmm. like I took like, you know, sociology classes, psychology classes and gender and, you know, film classes. And I like, I, I learned about the world before I like went Mm. and made art about it, Mm. which I think is like Mm -hmm. a a, a Mm -hmm. good thing. Um, but I was, I was like, I was miserable. 
I was miserable at the school. I was like, I, I was like, I can't, I have to like do theater. What am I doing? What mm-hmm. am I doing? Like, I have to do theater. What am I doing? I have to do theater. And <sighs> like that feeling, right? Of like, yeah, like this, like, like, I don't know. It, I know that it's like, moment, stop the presses. Like, exactly. I gotta get off. <laughs> I gotta like, yeah, it's like stop the presses. And I, that feeling I think is like what I've been holding on, like what I will not let go of No. Of for all of the choices of my life, yeah. right? Which is like, and I had a sweet deal in the situation that I was in financially. Like I like with my school, blah, 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 blah. And I left and now I'm in debt to go to art school. <laughs> and now I'm in like blah, blah, like, and like, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. And like and like honestly my college ex- like my art school experience wasn't great and it was really abusive and horrible in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. But that thing, right, of like I will choose this like I will choose this thing. Yeah. Because it is. It is. It mm-hmm. just is. Like there is no other option. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that I think is like a compass moment now in my life of like mm. Are you going to choose the thing? Or and are you I choose think this other thing. I think everybody, you know, God willing, spirit willing, God mm-hmm. is willing, uh, allows, um, has that moment in their life. Yes. And I wish my like, m- my like wish for the world is that we would never have that conflict in the first place and choose art. Absolutely. Already, but I, I yeah. really. I just I don't know if we're gonna lay on our deathbeds, being like, I yes, I'm this, hopeful. I'm like I, like yes, I I don't know. Like I'm I'm happy with the money I made or or something like. And and you know, actually, I don't even feel like that's a great example because I dislike that art equals poverty. Um, yeah, no, a whole other thing, whole other thing. Yeah. Um, but I I. I do feel for me if I, you know, again, if I reach the end of my life and I'm a hundred and whatever years old and I am Mm -hmm. sitting there um, going like, I I think I would kick myself for the art I didn't make. I think I would be Mm. really, really upset or, or the, or the things I didn't, the art I didn't experience, like the. Yeah, that I think is huge for me, the, mm -hmm. the art I didn't experience. I'm in my space with art I didn't make and I'm not like I'm unwilling to go there right now <laughs> but with art I didn't experience for sure. But you we all have time, right? Like Oh yes. I uh, uh, you pick uh, up the another pen podcast. any day. I I don't think like I love I I love hearing stories of people mm. that like I you know, I don't think Oprah got her first yes, like real thing. job yes. until she was like 40 something, you know, mm-hmm. and like same thing with Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. Wasn't it Tony Morrison? Viola. Look yeah. at Viola. Yes. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think it was Tony Morrison who didn't get her first book deal until she was like in her 40s or 50s mm-hmm. or something like that. And like, yeah. Like just yeah. All, all – yeah, all of the like greatest art I really love. I don't <laughs> – I, I think it's like this like weird pressure and I would say it's mostly because of like TikTok influencers, we feel this way to be like, I'm mm. 27 and like now I'm old or something like that. Like, you know? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But like every, everyone can make a thing and you, we really only have time and we, yeah. Yeah. And I think that this like in full circle relates to like what you were talking about, about opinions, right? Mm, it's mm-hmm. like, it really, this idea of like everybody has time, everyone has access to this, everyone is an artist, be honest, tell your story, do the thing, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And also like make – like can we all make room for that? Yeah. Which I think is like the opinion component, right? It's yeah. like what what does it look like for all of us to agree to make room for everyone to have this thing and have access to this thing? Mm-hmm. And like that does not mean like – I don't know, the Oscars, right? (laughs) That does not mean like, you know, and like, I love the Oscars. (laughs) Oh, I I will be watching all red carpets. I will be listening to the podcast before and after. Exactly. I I will be seeing every Oscar nominated My mom and I do send each other 
our it, our predictions. She absolutely. always wins. <laughs> absolutely. But also, like, what is all of that contributing to from mm-hmm. that – you know what I mean? Like, in yeah. this way and, like, I don't know, from the rando that you're like, oh, my God, shut up on their Twitter, right, to, like, like – oh, this is good movie and this is a bad movie because these like whatever it is, almost 100 something people decided like this yeah. is what it is. Like like all of this, you know, is – yeah. Which I think it's funny like I – you know, like I said, I have been in word? many a critique room and space. Yes. And I don't – and I – I, you know, I love feedback. Um, I think, uh, you know, I personally love to learn and grow. I don't understand this desire. Well, I get like we talked about in our, our first episode, like this desire to deem consumption of like something that create somebody mm. created as like good or bad. Like I am a good person for enjoying it. I'm a, ba- you're a mm-hmm. bad person for enjoying something else. Mm-hmm. And Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't like that. Like, no. and I, to me, when opinions like that come out, like my reaction to that is like, shut the fuck up and make something then. Yes. Like, it's like. Like, why are you just sitting there with your arms crossed, like yes. telling everybody how to think and feel? Go fucking make something and, and yes. change my mind. Let me be moved by that thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I just like. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. And like, yeah, I agree. Like, who are you? And also, I I think too, it's like, who the fuck, who, like, who has time to have opinions about everything? I don't. Like, I do not. I don't have time to have opinions about everything. I also don't have time to care about everything. And we can take this from like the art perspective, right? Of like, Mm -hmm. have you seen this movie and what do you think? To like the world like social responsibility place yeah. too right like oh well you don't recycle or like oh yes. well you don't blah blah, yes. blah or whatever it's like yes. I cannot care about every dooming thing on the planet right like I cannot do that so anyways like I <laughs> highly relate to I highly relate to yes this idea of like oh I studied film and like I know what is being taught or what is being like shown from the male gaze and like I can like yeah literally uh, you know, same yeah the, the, that whole thing I went through that phase yeah I am sometimes that person but like I what are we doing who cares who like who cares shut someone up someone liked it <laughs> someone wants to go see Disney on ice great like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know what mm. that Ugh. is art that is I, art. Stop. Like, I'm, I love, I love, I love. Like, I'd go. Are you kidding? Yeah, God bless those performers. Are you kidding exactly. me? Like, oh my God. It's funny exactly. you say, I, a really lucrative, um, like, gig that the, like, theater, my theater crowd in high school got into mm-hmm. was, um, anything birthday, Disney. <laughs> birthday party, like, princesses yes. yes um I was like Snow White a handful of times and Belle a handful of times and like it, it, it like uh, uh, fun like, and, and I just like I remember oh my gosh I remember um just any time for like horrible like as horrible as these jobs were anytime I've ever been paid to do something that's like remotely in the category yes. like, the, like of the thing that I love mm-hmm. I'm like huh, isn't this cool mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, yes. I think like, that I remember whole- the first job I ever got paid to draw for. Like, mm. my hand was like a, a necessary tool. And I was like, isn't this interesting? Mm. <laughs> mm. I, yeah. I remember, like, I, I remember that moment in that, like, of like, okay, are you going to choose theater? Are you going to, like, what are you going to yeah. do? Like, that kind of thing. It's like, ultimately, I say that that's a like guidepost because it's like, that question is ultimately like, how do you want to live? Yeah. Right. And it's like, do you want to live like 
judging yourself or beating yourself up or whatever for like putting on a princess yeah. costume and like yeah. going and like making children happy and like living in imaginary playland or do you want to like be like this is a beautiful creative job where I can go and you know what I'm saying yeah. like I think yeah. as artists we get so stuck in that and then as also as like viewers or consumers there's so much judgment around the legitimacy of things you mm -hmm. know like this is real art, this isn't, this is good or bad, that's a legitimate gig for an actor or not, whatever. Yeah. Like, Viola has this great breakdown in her book, too, of that idea for yeah. actors and how, like, this many actors actually get paid $50,000 a year yeah. and this is many have the health, health care, and this is yeah. blah, 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 blah. So, like, if you are in, you know, a Christmas carol every year yeah. at, like, your, like, corner theater on the block or whatever, yeah. like, great. Because, like, you're getting paid to act, you know? Yeah. Like, anyways, yeah. here we are. Another rant. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. <laughs> no, I think, I I think you're some totally right. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're totally right. And, like, I guess it's, like, I don't know. I was telling – we've already had this conversation. I keep – I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what, what's happening. Um, I keep getting, like, trolls. Mm. like haters in my like comment section in my inbox mm -hmm. and you know I have I think there's like a couple of things that kind of go through my head when I when I get those one it's like I'm probably doing something right um yes I'm you know sp I have some sort of reaction some something in me pisses you off mm -hmm. something that you're seeing this in is me what I'm saying you off and, Nathaniel Viola and, yeah totally and like which is fine. Like, yes. can we actually just be okay with being yes. not liking the other person and somebody like not being in control of Ooh. a whole ass other human being? And okay, actually, oh. I'm just. <laughs> wow. I, it, it's usually only white people <laughs> doing these things. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just, just saying that. Um, something in me pisses some, like something off in you. Mm -hmm. Go make something. Go do something about it. Take Go responsibility for that feeling. Out. Why I'm not like just poo poo and shit on it. I don't mm -hmm. understand this. The reaction of meanness in consumption of, yes. uh, you know, art, media, whatever. Like the idea, mm. and like I mean this from like a TikTok comment to like a theater review. Like mean, the first fucking thing you learn as a child is to be nice and share, and it's mm -hmm. like the thing that we all immediately forget the second we, I don't know, leave the first. Are grade. triggered. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. And I don't. It's like, and I think it's funny to be having this conversation, you know, in like the the time and place that we're living in, where like people do make heinous, horrible shit. And it is bad, oh, like and, like harmful. And I'm not yes. talking about harmful things. No. And and even then, I think we uh, implore more of a dialogue than is uh, like required or necessary. Because uh -huh. when something's heinous, horrible shit, we're like, well, we gotta like, we gotta mm -hmm. appease the freak or like bad people or anger, yep. uh, hurt, you know, like. Like people that do bad things are 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 bigger and mm -hmm. are seen as like uh, more intelligent and so, like I'm thinking of serial killers. Like I'm like they're somehow yes. like greater than, and so we must like sl approach slowly or whatever. Which like I don't whatever whatever to mm -hmm. that approach. But like when somebody is trying to share their truth with the world, and yeah. somebody goes, "You're wrong," I'm like, "Go fuck yourself," mm -hmm. <laughs> like. Go mm -hmm. make a thing. Mm -hmm. Go make a thing and tell me why I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm happy to be or, wrong. But don't – Or, yeah, like, who cares? Like, what is wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Truly, who fucking cares? Oh, who cares? my like, God. What is wrong? And this is something that we say, you and I, literally, like, daily. And nothing matters. Like everything matters and nothing matters, no, right? No, and the world's going to explode and this problem's not going to happen any longer. Yeah. And this was in the episode I listened to today of We Could Do Hard Things. 
Tig brings it up, this idea of like, ever, like nothing matters. Like no. who cares about so this decision because nothing matters? Somebody. Yes. Yeah. Who cares about the decision because nothing matters? But then like, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't matter because nothing matters. But then yeah. like, oh my God, nothing matters. Like, holy crap. We're like, get stuck into this thing, but nothing matters. So like, go away. Like mind your own lane. Go away. Go away. Mind your own lane. And like, cool. If you like something great, if you don't, figure out why you don't. Figure out why you don't. Figure out why you don't like it. And then like, great, you do don't something like about something. It. Go and go enjoy the things that you do like. Yes. Go watch the things that do bring you joy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, like with this idea of like me being all like constantly like, oh, everybody's not just trying to like have fun every day. Everybody's trying – not just trying to, like, do nothing all the time. Like, I don't – like, what? <laughs> what is this? I don't think people know. And I think this is, like, why why art is so – it brings up so many emotions for people that are – that feel like they're on the outside of it in some way. Mm-hmm. Um, and why it's, like, maybe so triggering. I, because art is pleasure and it's, like, joy and it's mm-hmm. – even when it's an expression of pain, you know, it's it's – it's healing like art is art is pleasure and to create is is soothing and and like a just one of the very few experiences that we get as a human being that's like nice yes <laughs> and like the, many a thing many a person mm-hmm. many a system tells you do not enjoy do no, not, it, yeah. do not have pleasure. Do not have joy Mm-mm. in your life. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I remember when I told somebody I was an artist and they said, like, I don't live. They said they were like, oh, it must be so nice because, like, you don't have to live in the real world. Something <gasps> super fucking condescending like that. I think this was at, like, a party or I was yeah. at a bar. I mean, yeah. nothing happens. Nothing yeah. good happens from being in a bar. Like, absolutely nothing. So it's probably well, that. Well, nothing good happens from the question of what do you do? Like, oh, yes. That me. also <laughs> kill me. Kill me. That and or if you are at a bar with a bunch of artists, what are you working on? Fuck you. Like, that's all I want to say oh. when someone says that. <laughs> I want to just be like, excuse me, I'm on a glass and a half of wine. I can't yes. possibly go away. Go away. Also, like, <laughs> who cares what I'm working what, Like, who, like, what are we doing? Why are we asking other artists that question? Yeah. Oh. Um, anyways, um, yeah, said I don't live in the real world or something, or like, oh, it must be so nice to like not have to live in the real world. And I was like, no, 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 you're mistaken, my friend. Like, my world is the real world. <laughs> like, yeah. actually, my world is the real world. Yeah. Your world is not the real world. Your world and is literally made up. My, I did my not- world's made up. Your world's literally made up. <laughs> yes. Like, I, like, I was like, uh, uh, first of all, that's – I mean, there's so many things wrong with this comment, right? But I was like, actually, like, artists trying to be artists and survive is, like, the most real it gets in this world, A. And B, like – I live in a I live in the world I want to live in and yeah. there's grave responsibility with that. Yeah. And like I was like, what? What is mm-hmm. this? What is this comment? Like, what? That's wild. Uh, my favorite is just like, and I think like not like you need to be an artist full time. Like oh, no. like the, not like that makes you an artist or not, but one of my favorites is just like when I tell people I am an artist mm-hmm. for work. And they're like, like I, I get like, oh, it must be so nice to not have a real job. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it is actually. <laughs> and it's like what makes me so that's hilarious it is actually. What makes me so sad about this is like I just want to be like, friend, that feels like you can't live in the real world. Like or that like yeah. wants to live in this world of yeah. like not having a Punishment? real job or like, yes, like it's like you know you can do this too, right? Like, come. It's like come people, over to this side. Like, you yeah. don't have to live this way. Like, hello. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Totally. Like, it's like they like they like walk up to the Mad Max trucks and like chain themselves to these vehicles, and they're like, yeah. "See, isn't my life pain?" And it's like <laughs> you did that to yourself. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? With Charlize just yeah, driving like- <laughs> in the front. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, you could what unbuckle, get out of the bus. Like, what are you doing? Mm. That's what you were. You were on the you were, this is a whack ass <laughs> metaphor, but you were on the convoy. Yes. And like you were like, stop the train. I'm getting off. <laughs> I'm getting and off. And you like took your like like fire thrower electric guitar and you set it down and you said no more no more (laughs) of the charade (laughs) of the charade like no more of this I mean thank you for it it taught me some stuff I appreciate it but also sure sure like sure I don't know it's just like or like we this idea that like you like I don't know, this idea, Phoebe, that you have some kind of like magical fairy dust in you that means like people like you can live this way. People like you can make money like this. Mm-hmm. People like you can blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's like, no, mm-hmm. what are we doing if we're not striving for everyone to be a part of this pie? Like, if I don't we understand. If throw out everything, mm-hmm. the only thing left, like everything, I mean everything, Universal basic income becomes a thing. We all treat each other with kindness, respect, love, and dignity mm-hmm. and compassion. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wave a magic wand and like liberation for all. The only thing that will exist is poems and rivers and mm-hmm. theater and, 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 and fucking Lascaux caves and, yes. and, and, and like yes. growing gardens and picking flowers and arranging them in ways that make us ex- – allow us to express something like greater yes. than this. I mean like I was even thinking about this today. I call myself a writer. Words are never enough. And so I just have to keep writing for the rest of my life until yes. I figure it out. Yes. And like that is why art saved my life because it's the only thing <laughs> – the Mm -hmm. only thing that just makes me feel like kind of alive and like it's it's worth it yes and it it's in us it's in us so here's the thing listener (laughs) art saves lives so if you want to like write the book do the thing you know whatever this is phoebe and i's like thing right like this (laughs) this is Phoebe and I yeah, is like whole ass career is built around this concept. whole whole thing. <laughs> this whole is this is our TED talk. Like yeah. go do the thing because it's it's actually in you. Just just like anything else, human is in you to feel to like 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 mm-hmm. it is in you. And there's no such thing as good or bad. No. Well, <laughs> again, another podcast fixing the world. Here we are. If We're gonna only, say that every time. I know. If only people just listen, if you just tune in and you listen, then you shall know. <laughs> and here we are being the white people trying to manipulate and control everyone. <laughs> I know. But aren't we all just mirrors? And can I be responsible to know that about myself? Absolutely. I yes. think so. I think I yes. could be evolved enough. Well, bye, Jacques. <laughs> Bye, Phoebe. (laughs) Talk to you soon. Talk to you in five seconds. (laughs) Thank you for listening to Do You Ever Feel Like? Follow this chaos wherever you get your podcasts. Our artwork is by Simon Peng. Do You Ever Feel Like? is produced by Jacqueline Wills and Phoebe Taylor. You can follow us on Instagram at Do You Ever Pod. You can write to us at doyoueverpod at gmail.com. Okay. Bye. Bye. (laughs) 